Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm still playing Elite Dangerous. And welcome to Reboot and Restart. Now, today's episode of Reboot and Restart is about money making. And you think, oh, it's another money making gag, another passenger mission. But this is all about it being not easy. When you're starting off in the game, what do you do? You haven't got a big ship, you haven't got loads of passenger cabins. You haven't got that much money, and everything that you have to do has to be on a budget. So here I am, I've got a dolphin. Um, I'm making, taking my Cobra all the way over to this system. Um, we're off to Evans Port. Evans Port in the Pa-Utis, pa -Utis system. Okay, now this is currently in a boom state, and we're gonna be aiming for a local system that has a station about a million miles away, okay? So it's gonna be a long haul way. Now, the entire point of being with all this is that a lot of the YouTubers, and I'm guilty of this as well, turn around and say, hey, it's the latest money-making scheme out there, and you can make 60 million an hour, or 130 million an hour, or 79 billion per hour. I mean, okay, great. So we all know what's coming, we just want to know the systems. So straight off the bat, the systems here are going to be this. So here we go. It's Par Utis with Evans Port and Med B with Vela Dock. So now you know what the systems are, feel free to close this video off or you can hang around and hear my thoughts on the subject. Completely up to you. Um, if you're still with me, that is, this is what you have to do. So it's all very well getting over there and you've got a passenger ship or a ship that's big enough to take the cabins. But you're also going to need cargo space as well, so don't go forgetting that. In addition to this as well, you want to go for missions with people who have got like luxury missions, business class missions. You're not going to have all these refugee missions that used to be the case. But if you just throw them all in an economy cabin. So, straight off the bat, you get to this Parutis system and you go to Evans Port. Well, lo and behold, they're not going to be selling passenger space or passenger cabins like what you're going to need. So you're going to be stuck with what you bring with you. So either have the foresight after watching a video like this or from some of the other YouTubes to get down there and make sure your ship is fully stocked before you get in there, or you're going to have to go looking. Now all the passenger missions here as well, some of them are going to be individuals, you're going to get some of the old, you know, businessmen want to travel over here, businessmen want to travel over here, there may be one or two refugee missions, and you are going to be encouraged to go board hopping. Now, board hopping, as Frontier has said, and I've said a million times, is not subverting the game. And for all you people who are going to start putting nasty comments in the comment section, oh, you're giving away all the routes, F Dev are going to nerf them, what's the matter with you? This has been around forever forever okay so i'm going to be nice to say don't say anything at all so anyway with that out of the way let's get back to what i was saying so you're going to be looking for missions going to the med b system and in the med b system you are going to find yourself a port called veladoc now veladoc is like 1.6 million light seconds away. Like I say, but before you do that, you have to go and find somewhere that sells appropriate passenger cabins. Now I found this, Fleming City. Okay, Fleming City has what you need. Well, in this case, I mean, the Dolphin's got um, a class five slot. I'm not running with any shields. I managed to change that out and get class 4 luxury cabin so you know you want to be having a bit of a shop around seeing what you can get and how you can best fit out your ship this is one of the main things you've got to fit your ship out properly or you're not going to make anything and you're not going to make anything anyway because it's all about reputation and influence all these governing factors that you're going to have within this system you're going to have to go and do all those crappy missions. You're going to have to do some low-paying passenger missions. You're going to have to fly here. You're going to have to fly there. You're going to have to land on planets. It's going to be a right grind. 
it's going to be a right old fag. I can tell you that for a, for, for a start. So if you think you're going to fly into one of these systems without being anywhere near it before, and immediately think that you're going to make 30 to 60 million, or 60 to 130 million, or God knows whatever else amount of ridiculous credits that has been banded around on YouTube lately, you're mistaken. You've got a bit of hard work to do first to build your reputation in this system. So there you go, full disclosure, right? So during the process of making this video, as you can see, I've kitted out my ship with business class and luxury cabins and I've stored the other ones away because I've got loads of storage and storage space. And you know, I'm doing all right for cash, but I'm not gonna be able to afford any of the bigger ships. So the Dolphin being, you know, my passenger ship of, of choice. On this Steam account, I'm just starting out like what a lot of new players would be. So it's important to remember that if I was playing on my other account, uh, that's been going for like four years since Elite sort of came into main, main production, then it would be a completely different story. I'd probably be making a hell of a lot more money, a hell of a lot more quickly. But this is Reboot and Restart, and it's all about the new player experience. So once you've kitted that ship out, it's time to get yourself back to old Evans Port in the Parotis system. Once there, you're going to have to go and dock with that station. Once you've docked with the station, you're going to have to get yourself on the landing pad. And once you've got yourself on the landing pad, then you've got to go and start navigating all the way through the passenger boards, right? And you got, like I say, you're looking out from the Med B system. And you're soon going to discover that all of a sudden there's not millions upon millions of credits to be made. You may be lucky to get two or three million, at least for a good couple of runs. All that being said, you've only got a finite amount of space you can use as passenger cabins. Plus you're going to need some cargo as well because some of these missions might reward you with cargo. In which case then, I would suggest anything between four and eight tons for cargo. The scene is space is a premium, this is completely up to you. Some of the missions I went with were some of the individual transfer missions, transport missions. Um, I also went and got some missions to deliver some information as well and some some cargo anything to do and try and build that reputation up reputation is the key and with that hopefully as you progress through this and get past the neutral and the cordial aspect of things then you're going to start seeing the rewards so be prepared when you get into the med b system right you're going to be here for quite some time okay so go away do something, have a cup of tea, get a biscuit, set the navigation, fly towards it because you are going to be in dark space, doing nothing for the best part of half an hour. Okay, so you've all heard about the Hutton Orbital run, it's a bit like that, okay? Anyway, not to worry. Once you finally get to the location, you'll find all the stations are going to be clustered around. Here I am currently docking at a military installation to drop some gear off drop some gear off, I get a reward. It was a tidy little earn, probably what I spent on the passenger cabins. So it was worthwhile doing whilst you're in the area. So keep an eye on those mission boards as well. Those mission boards may have some key missions. And again, as your reputation and your influence increases, you're gonna make more money, okay? But you're still not making loads of it. Currently though, these small side missions, they're gonna get you a couple of hundred thousand credits. You know, it's not going to go break in the bank. You're not going to be going out buying any anacondas straight away. So, you know, you've got to bear with it. And you've got to start persevering. So, with all that done, check the message boards. Make sure there's nothing else going on in that particular area. If you want to take some missions going back the other way, that might be worth, worth your while. But make sure you check the destinations. Else you're going to be bouncing to one system, to the other system, and it's not going to be worth your while. So, time to get out of Dodge and move on with what we were doing with the passenger mission. Still, our reputation is starting to build. Um, it's a long, laborious process. For any of you who, who have not done passenger missions, be prepared. It can be very rewarding. You're also going to start building your Explorer rank as well. So, as a result of this, you, you kind of advance in different stages. Obviously, Getting the money so you can go and buy ships and equipment is one thing, but also to advance in your explorer rank is another thing. 
explorer trade and combat. I mean, combat and passenger missions, not really. Trade, by doing these missions, your trade rank is indeed going to increase. So there you go. So far, we've made about 500,000 credits. You know, again, it's, um, it's not mind-blowing. But here we are, finally, at Veladoc after about 35 minutes in super cruise. Be very careful as you touch down if you're flying with a ship that has not got any shield, so you've used that extra slot as a passenger cabin. Be very gentle, very, very gentle with it. Ease it down. Any damage could affect passenger happiness and therefore your payout. So getting down to the passenger lounge, hand in those passenger missions, and then repeat all over again. And of course, you can see with the new system, you can choose between reputation, influence, special items as well. I tend to go for the special items because, you know, you're going to need to start engineering these ships pretty soon. So once you've done this, check the mission boards again to see if there's anything going back the other way. Make sure your transaction board is clear and get yourself back to the Perutis system and Evans Hub. Rinse, repeat, recycle, redo it, and grind. And that's the way to build reputation to get, I suppose, long distance passenger missions like this to work. Build that reputation and influence with the factions. Only then are you gonna get some of the higher paying missions that you've seen on some of the other YouTube channels. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been informative. I've been Ricardo and this has been Reboot and Restart, and the fact that making money is not easy. And it's not as easy as what people make out. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon, and check back for more videos in the series.